Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Parker. I'm a board certified podiatric surgeon in Houston, Texas. I've been here for now four decades. I'm uh, past president of the Southwest Division of American College of Foot and Ankle Surgery, co-founder of the Harris County Podiatric Residency Program, currently vice president and a co-founder of the Association of Extremity Nerve Surgeons. And if you're watching this film, you're wondering if that instrument that you're looking at is beneficial for your patients and for your practice. One of the things I'm primarily interested in in my practice today are therapeutic lasers and how they affect uh, different conditions that I treat for my patients. In laser therapy, our low-level laser treatments or low-level laser therapy, you may see LLLT as an abbreviation. Another term for it is photobiomodulation. I explained to the patients that everyone knows what photosynthesis is and how the sun rays go through a plant, keep it alive, and it does something inside of a plant. And in humans, we call it photobiomodulation. I got that term from uh, a professor I was uh, honored to meet, and he spoke at our nerve meeting in Vegas this last year. His name is Professor Michael Hamlin. Professor Hamlin is uh, a professor at uh, Harvard School of Medicine. And he has been studying the uh, uh, effects of laser on cells. Uh, he introduced me to, term, to a term called uh, biphasic dose response. And that simply means that we know that low level emittance of lasers is beneficial and healthy for tissue and that higher levels is detrimental and it actually can kill tissues. For example, the high level PDT are photodynamic therapy kills cancer cells, for example, in dermatology. This is one of the primary areas that uh, he's been studying, and it's used uh, in a multi-discipline uh, uh, fashion in the fact that they're treating it uh, for uh, spinal injuries and brain uh, tumors and conditions of the sort. So let me just show you this cold laser. I'm going to put the... Uh, glasses on and this laser is unique uh, it uh, has a battery pack here that you can uh, charge two batteries and makes it very mobile with the third battery on the unit itself this is called a microlite 830 or ml 830 830 is 830 nanometer each of the three laser beams uh, delivers a little over three joules of energy totaling nine joules which is again a low level. And when you turn it on, as you know, you can't see laser. You may be able to through this film uh, because laser beams can be uh, seen if you turn a camera on. But the LED makes it possible so that you can see where you're treating. And you can probably hear that uh, uh, beeping noise uh, emitting now. And I've treated in my office and with my patients conditions such as Achilles tendinosis, tendinitis, fasciitis, ankle sprains, post-operative edema, post-operative pain, uh, neuropathy, particularly compression neuropathy, and the sort. <clears throat> this unit is very convenient, and I'll explain a few more things about this in just a second. So all my other lasers uh, in the practice are hot lasers, in other words, they have to be administered and, uh, uh, by a technician or myself because they're, they can be harmful to patients if they are used uh, inappropriately. The ML830 uh, is a cold laser and patients cannot hurt themselves unless you were to take this beam and shine it directly into your eye, which you wouldn't do that even with a pointer laser. So we have five of these laser units in my practice today. This one stays in the practice <clears throat> and it's the one we use with our patients. We have four other lasers that we actually lease out to patients on a weekly basis. Um, and we have a waiting list uh, for patients wanting to use this, uh, uh, this uh, form of treatment. So when patients do ask me about what these lasers do, um, I'll bring out this picture and discuss photobiomodulation. 
and also what the laser beams do. And we talk about, again, laser beams coming in as the sunlight does for our plant, but in the humans, we have ATP molecules, adenosine triphosphate, which is our primary energy source, as you know, nitric oxide pathway having to do with our uh, circulation and the modulation of the size of the vessels, <clears throat> reactive oxygen species, which has to do with uh, NF kappa B transcription for gene transcriptions, which generates the growth factors, uh, the cellular proliferation, cell motility for helping ulcers heal and uh, helping wounds heal. So laser beams actually tell cells to do something as opposed to say physical therapy, which simply increases circulation to the area. So the, the benefits from these layers would be things as wound healing, tissue repair, prevention of uh, cell death or apoptosis, uh, anti-inflammation, anti pain relief, edema, acute injuries, chronic injuries, even neurogenic pain as we discussed, which is one of my primary interests, and other neurological problems. So as I see it, this instrument is almost like having a pharmacopoeia in a light beam. I call, to patients, I call this a Star Wars type uh, instrument. I'm looking forward to utilizing this instrument in many more different ways. Hopefully, um, it can help me with these nerve conditions. I'm doing a study right now with respect to using this instrument as, um, as a diagnostic tool um, and using this instrument for other treatments of uh, nerve conditions. But for the general practice, <clears throat> I can see we're physical therapists, um, chiropractors, podiatric uh, physicians, orthopedic surgeons uh, could use this, even family practitioners uh, in their office. Thank you.